What's up, everybody? Mickey Joe back at you. You guys. What is this? Check this out. Ladies and gentlemen, what I have in my hands here is a Japanese civilian ration. Uh, this is not a JSDF. Uh, it is not. Not even close. This only has rice and a little bit of taco meat, if you believe it or not. Now, I do want to mention that uh, my Google Translate kept coming up with this one. This little guy right in the top corner as the word uh, horses. Uh... Horses, so it was like beef, chicken, pork, uh, onions, horses, green peas, yada, yada, yada. Also, green peas, what the hell are their green peas doing in my taco meat? Anyway, this is going to be interesting. Um, we also uh, tried to translate the back, and as near as I can tell, I need to boil this thing in this package for uh, 25 to 30 minutes, and that's a long time. But we're going to do that. But also, this is just like, this is rice and uh, a little bit of mane. It's not much. And I felt like I needed a little more in this video. So, for my little more, what I got is a little more. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a, uh, oh god, I hope I can do this, modular operational ration enhancement. Uh, M-O-R-E. This is a more. This is a high altitude uh, slash cold weather ration enhancement. This is meant to go with the US MREs to add a few more calories and a little bit more caffeine. Just because in those environments, your body, uh, your body takes a lot of energy to just keep itself going for normal functions, much less, much less, sorry, much less for, uh, for military functions. So these are just, they're, they're more, they're just a little bit more. So I've never had one of these. They've been on my radar for a while. I want to thank you, Michael Gilpin. I know you're watching. Uh, Michael slipped a few of these in the box that he sent me, and I'm super stoked because I get to try them more, you guys. Um, these have some really interesting ingredients that you won't find in regular MREs. I don't know if they pack them in first strikes. I've only ever had one first strike. But this has got some cool stuff in it. So first off, I got some crackers, just straight up crackers. Those feel, you see that? They feel a little bit bent, but they don't feel broken. We'll check those out in a minute. Now this, this is interesting. Cheddar, okay, well, I guess I could probably point out that the ingredients are on here. We have, in order, cracker, a spread soup mix, applesauce, snack, baked cracker, first stripe bar, mini mocha, beverage, carb fortified. That's what I got in here. So this stuff, I've been told uh, by a, uh, a expert in the field that this stuff is not very good at all. Cheddar potato with artificial bacon bits spread slash soup mix. Um, I'm gonna try it as a spread first. I don't I don't anticipate trying it as a soup, but I've been told that this isn't awesome. But you know what, honestly, man, it kind of sounds awesome. So I'm going to eat that with the crackers. This, I have a uh, mini mocha first strike. I'm stoked. I've never had the mocha flavor. That's very cool. We have a lemon lime beverage base powder. There we go. A little bit of lemon lime drink to go with my Japanese uh, horse meat tacos. We have some zapple sauce. That'll wash the taste of horse right out of your mouth, guys. Uh, baked snack crackers. That's, I bet you these are going to be like Cheez-Its, and they feel beat up as shit. Uh, I am going to get this all sorted out. I'm going to spend a half an hour heating this up in the bag. Pretty sure I'm supposed to do it in the bag, you guys. It's kind of what the instructions look like. And they're like, yeah, pull it out of the bag after you boil it for 25 to 30 uh, symbols. So I'm going to boil this for uh, 25 to 30 symbols, and I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. I did boil this for about a half an hour. Um, it seems sort of unnecessary to boil it in the bag, but I got to tell you, that's what the instructions said, so that's what I did. I have my white rice. I have my uh, horse meat taco meat up in here. Pretty stoked about the horse, you guys. Maybe that's not horse. I don't know. It's what my phone said. Anyway, uh... Got all the other stuff laid out here. I'm not going to go over it. You just saw that like 40 seconds ago. Uh, let's get our lemon lime beverage working. All right. 
I am interested about this whole pile of food, you guys. The whole thing. Uh, yeah. This sounds really good. But I I have it on good authority that it's not very good. So I'm sort of excited to try it and see what I think. Because I, myself, am not good authority. Alrighty, let's get our drink working. I can see my fill line because I creased it. Let's get our water in there. I should probably open that rice, fluff it up a little bit. Let it sit and cool off because it was wicked hot. There we go. This is not lemon lime drink. This is the lemon lime uh, beverage base powder. This has a little bit more carbs. This is the one that always looks really funny when you first pour it out and it's super thick and everything. We gotta get the corners. Ugh. All right. <clears throat> Let's see how weird and gross this looks. I do have a, ooh, whoa. Here we go. That smells pretty good. And it doesn't look half bad either. That'll look a lot better after it sits. Let's give it a stir with the spoon that they insisted I boil in the package with the food. Let's give the spoon a little check out here. This... Dudes, my dudes, this is wooden. How cool is that? That's super awesome. I almost don't even want to use it. That's really cool. That's like the, uh, kind of reminds me of those spoons that came with the little cups of ice cream you got on track and field day when you were in like second grade. Let's give this a stir. Alrighty. That looks pretty good. We'll let that sit for a second. All right. Baked snack crackers. These feel super beat up. This is, uh, what do we got here? 240 grams. Little uh, 47 gram pouch, that's not a lot. These are gonna be straight up Cheez-Its if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I like Cheez-Its, so here we, yep. What, Cheez-Its. Let's get a few Cheez-Its onto the, oh man, yes, those are beat up like crazy. That's all right, I'm still gonna eat them. I'm gonna set those aside. I'll keep the rest of them because I totally will eat them, but they're not good for eating on camera. We have a mini Mocha First Strike Bar. I've never tried the Mocha flavor. This guy, if you can see, has 150 calories, so they're beefing you up a little bit. A lot of these uh, more rations come with like the caffeinated gum, or there's some caffeinated pudding in there. I actually have one of those. Um, almost did it tonight, but I thought uh, thought we'd do this with the crackers and the old uh, weird spread here. Let's get my zapple sauce working. 140 calories in my zapple sauce. So if you're counting calories, you guys, adding all this together, uh, you probably have a total because I haven't been adding it. I don't know, we're probably like 500 more calories right here, at least. And I don't know what these are. I don't know how many calories is in horse meat, you guys. All right, yeah, let's let's open this real quick. Let's open the old horse meat and the rice. It really did seem super unnecessary to boil it in the bag, and I almost just took it out of the bag. That has some words and a line. Maybe I should just cut it. I hope that's cooked all the way. The only other time I've had just straight up, uh, well, might have had rice a few times in U.S. rations with like the Spanish rice and stuff. But um, I did have a Chinese ration quite a long time ago. This isn't working. Come on now. Uh, that's not how it's supposed to go down at all, you guys. This is BS. All right. Getting the knife back out. Here we go. There we go. That'll make it a little better. It does sort of already have the texture of being cooked all the way through, which is what I was worried about. I wonder why this was supposed to go for 25 to 30 minutes. I feel like with that long of a cook time, God, this is just popping everywhere. 
um, that it uh, probably wasn't cooked to begin with. So it's not going to take that long to heat up. Man, that's plenty. Let's just go with that. That is a lot of rice. That's still not all of the package here. But that's going to be enough for my purposes here this evening. All right. I'm going to scooch the rice over a little bit. Let's let it fluff up. That looks pretty good. Looks like good white rice. All righty, guys. Game time. Here we go. Taco meat, possible horse meat, green peas. It's going to be weird. Feels weird. It smells pretty good. Mm. Yes, it does. It smells very good. All right. Let's, woo. Let's get a close look at this. See what we got happening here. Mmm. Okay, the closer it gets to my face, I don't know. I don't know if that's a weird smell or if it's just like, okay, that's, yeah, that's not an American dish. That's Japanese. It's got Japanese spices and catered to Japanese uh, palates. It looks pretty good. I do see the corn. Um, I don't see pea. Yeah, there you go. There's a green pea. That's weird. Uh, I don't see anything that immediately screams horse to me, so that's pretty good. Uh, and it smells nice. You know what? Let's let's try it first with my wooden spoon. Here we go. Money shot. Mmm. You guys, that. That is very good. That's got a great, oh God. That's got a great flavor. I guess I have to try the rice on its own before I put some with that. Yeah, that's just sticky rice. It's just white rice. Um, as a kid, I, I would have put a huge lump of butter in the middle of that and salt and pepper. Sort of treated it like a baked potato. Well, let's try some of this with some of this. I am interested. The rice and taco meat, you guys. Japanese taco meat. Who would have thought? Oh my gosh. That's really good. So, uh, interesting fact. Here, um, I did learn something today. I like horse meat, you guys. If that's actually horse meat. Um, honestly, I'm going to just let the cat out of the bag. My wife's uh, Bixby Translate, which does a heck of a lot better job than Google Translate, told me that there's uh, potatoes of some sort. Oh, man. Maybara. Maybara potatoes, I believe, is what my translate was coming up with the word horse. And hers got every single word on the page, so I trust hers. There's really not horse in here. But that was fun while it lasted, wasn't it, you guys? Mm. I am loving this Japanese civilian ration. Let's go ahead and get into the more, you guys. All right. Got some crackers. They're just crackers. They're Cheez-Its. We all know them. We love them. Our dads ate them while watching TV with no pants on when we were kids. I mean underwear. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Mmm. Yeah. Cheez-Its. My mouth is still a little sensitive. So, since last time, uh, newsflash, update, I did get a root canal. And um, the sort of filling that they put in there doesn't feel like my tooth used to. And it's kind of making my whole jaw hurt. But it'll all even out soon. Let's eat some soft food. A little zapple sauce, you guys. Mmm. Love, love, love the zapple sauce. Look at this. Here we go. Translucent beverage. That looks like lemon lime drink. All right. Let's give it a shot. 
Okie dokie. Well, maybe I shouldn't submerge that. The spoon is wooden after all. Oh God, I just want to keep eating that. That's, that's really good. That's really good. It does have chicken, pork, beef, onions, potatoes, carrots, uh, green peas, garlic. Um, honestly, I didn't, I don't know if I saw like cumin and chili powder and stuff on the list, but it sure tastes like it. This really does have a very, what we as Americans know as a taco flavor. That'd be awesome on nachos, you guys. It is really good with the rice, too. I'm not going to lie. But, like, you could do a lot with that. I was hoping I had a more pack that had um, uh, tortillas in it, but I don't. Mmm. Mmm. That's very good. Alrighty. Crackers. This whole deal, uh, I believe, yep. Can you see that? Late 2017. So not not too old. These, uh, even though they're kind of curved and uh, bent a little bit, they do feel like they've that packed well. So let's see if we get a hiss. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, we did. All right, let's see if these just crumble coming out of here. Nope, held up real nice. There we go, you guys. U.S. crackers, man, for as much as they are not salty, I uh, I do really appreciate the resiliency of them. And as soon as you want to break them, they break, but they really don't break in that package. Okay. Cheddar potato with artificial bacon bits spread soup mix. Now, it's hard to read all the juju on there. And uh, some of it stuck to the package. I believe this little pack here has 290 calories. And that's a whole lot for a little pack of something. I suppose we should probably try it on its own first. On a spoon. I don't think that's going to... It doesn't have any tear notches. Alrighty, back to the knife. I should just keep this thing on the table here. There we go. Alright. Let's get all that delicious Japanese taco stuff off there. And here we go. Okay, you know what? Honestly, that doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. It's cheesy. It's got some little bits up in it. You can tell. Hmm. All right. You know what? Okay. Okay. The texture is a little weird. I'm not going to lie. I probably should have had a little hot water here just to try to make this into soup. Um, texture, it's its a little grainy, but it's not bad tasting. Can you believe it? It's not bad tasting. Let's put a little bit on this cracker, even though the cracker is probably not going to be super comfy in my mouth. Man, I don't hate it. I don't hate this. It doesn't look bad at all. Mm. Guys, that's freaking good. I'm going to go on record saying I quite enjoy the cheddar potato with artificial bacon bit soup spread mix. It, the texture is weird. It's grainy. But for my personal taste, oh, the crackers are doing the U.S. cracker thing to me. For my personal taste, that's like enough fake cheese and fake bacon to make uh, Mickey Joe have a big old smile. Mmm. Wow. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. Do like those, even though they're crumbly as shit. And get a little drink here. Mm. All right. Last thing is last. This thing's a little cute. A little mocha bar. A little fella. All righty. 
pretty dense texture. It uh, yeah, it kind of feels like the chocolate first strike. It doesn't really feel like the gummy, like the uh, the fruit first strikes. Mmm. Before I even got that to my mouth, I smelled coffee. Mmm. That really helped. The flavor's not amazing. God. It smells so good, though, you guys. Like, you know how, like, coffee candy smells? And it smells awesome if you like coffee. And then when you eat coffee candy, it sucks ass. That's kind of how this thing is. Mmm. I mean, I can eat the whole thing. Not a problem. Uh, shit. I didn't look at the calories in that one. I don't know what I did with the package already. It's gotta be here. Why is it not here? Okay, it's here. 150 calories in that guy, guys. 150 calories in my little mini mocha bar. Mmm! I'm enjoying this entire ration. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. I'm gonna get back to my taco meat and rice. That to me is an obscene amount of rice. And remember, I didn't even put all of it on the tray. That's a lot and I'm not gonna be able to finish it. But I am gonna go to town on it. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, yes, yes. This is a wonderful, wonderful taco meat mix. And the rice is perfectly cooked. There's a lot of it. You know, it'll, I mean, maybe, I don't know. I still don't understand the 25 to 30 minutes in the bag thing. But, but god damn. That's a good pile of food, guys. Mmm. Yes, indeed. And even this weird shit, I'm kind of liking it. I really am. I was told that, oh, no, no, no. That's no good right there. But I think that's pretty good right there. Mm. I kind of want to try it as soup. I'm going to try it as cold soup. Hold on a second. Here we go. All right. I got a little thing. Let's squeeze some in here and add some water. Not much, though, because I kind of want to eat the rest. We don't need much water. Maybe just half and half. That doesn't look like soup to me at all. Mrs. Mickey Joe has come to check out what we got going on. Do you want to try any of this stuff, Mrs. Mickey Joe? The rice and taco meat are actually quite fantastic. Taco I don't, meat smells good. The taco meat is good. I don't know if you're going to want to try this soup. Mm -hmm. It's still wicked grainy. Let's see if we got a little potato soup out of this deal. And you know what? Honestly, guys, like, still texture-wise, it's grainy. But, like, I don't hate that either. You got, like, a Cheez-It here. Mm, yeah, those are Cheez-Its. I saved the rest of them for you. Mm. That's not bad. See for reals, I drank it. That's not bad. I like, I like this spread. Mm. I like this spread right here, you guys. And you know what else I like? All of you out there in YouTube land. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I got a whole bunch of cool shit on the shelf. Stay tuned for next time. Um, thank you for watching. If you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Do all that YouTube stuff that everybody says at the end of their videos. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.